Hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We are finally getting somewhere in this game. I'm, I have no idea where we are in terms of progress level. You know, we could be halfway through. We could be just just to the tip of the iceberg. But last time out, we managed to get invaded around here somewhere. Where there's my souls, yes. And we managed to kill Pontiff Sullivan, who was the first challenging boss fight that I have come across in my Dark Souls 3 experience. I don't know if that's an arrogant thing to say. I hope it isn't. It's not meant to be arrogant. I don't consider myself a good Dark Souls player, but I have played all the predecessors except Demon Souls, so I suppose I have a certain amount of grasp on the old mechanics. Now, I can see someone standing down there. There is a uh, fellow. The thing is about this area is I got invaded very quickly in the last part and now I have to decide whether I want to go Embered again. We're going to try it again. We're going to go Embered and see if the invasion occurs. This might be a hotspot area seeing as it happens so quickly but at the same time I don't want to miss out any NPC invasions that might happen. So so yes sorry I thought I heard a grumbling. Any of these I imagine one of these giants is alive that would that would, is usually what would happen. So if I get invaded, I haven't got high, the highest hopes for a victory. But I will do my best. I will try to make everyone proud. Whoa, what? What's that? I can hear something. Also, I thought this sign was a health bar. It is not. Oh, that must be a deacon. We did see deacons at the end of the last part. In, in this area, throwing snowballs covered in fire. So they were... Probably fireballs as opposed to snowballs. I also noticed that um, in the cathedral building that we fought Pontiff Sullivan in. Yeah, here we go. Here are the here are the fiery snowballs. There. What? And already there is another fog gate, which I'm tempted to go through. Aldrich Faithful Grumbelo. Now Grumbelo seems to me. Oh, that's why there's a fog gate. Okay, because I'm being invaded. That seems to me like a player. Uh, because I've got the setting... Oh, there he is. Okay, I can see him. Okay, he has yet to see me. So we can... We can... We can go on exploring with some... With a, a little interference for the time being. I'm just going to allow him to run around. And eventually we'll... We'll bump... Ouch. We'll bump into him. Let me just uh, remind myself... Myself of what... Okay, Deacons. Now, I don't want to mess around with the Deacons for too long because it'll alert our friend, the invader, as to my location. And he will make swift work of me, should... A Deacon rogue? Uh, okay, okay. I might actually have to... I might have to do something about the Deacons. That's the problem. There are quite a lot of them. I need to find the small... Here we go grab myself a medium heal. Okay. So, yeah. I, I, is that him? Is that, yes, he's coming. Okay, so he's definitely seen me. I need to make myself scarce from any other immediate danger. Let's head into this building. Help me... Or it will happen to you too. Okay, hi buddy. Is he going to do anything actually? Is he going to gesture or anything? Oh, I'm going to carry on then. Ah, ha, ha. You can just watch me play through the area, sir. Don't, do, don't need to interfere. Not yet, anyway. Oh, he's definitely going to. Okay, where can I go? Is this... this is a, oh, there you go. There's an iron. Large Titanite Shard. Lovely stuff. There's also this thing I can climb, which is very reminiscent of... Oh no! I was just about to say it's reminiscent of Analondo, but there are actually the archers here. More Silver Knight archers, which is obviously a pain. Alright, okay. So the invader is not going to get troubled by the archers. This is an issue. Because I have to put up with them, whereas he does not. Oh, wait, there's so many! Okay, okay, at least we found our way to somewhere... <gasps> I know where this is! Oh, this is a good place to fight, I suppose. He's got curses. 
that he's just sort of chucking at me. I'm gonna have a lightning. Yes, that worked. That worked a charm. That, how did that not hit? How did that not make contact? Okay, that is. Uh, oh, out are you? Well, I'm not gonna have any. You're not gonna find any. Uh, Oh, he's got no health! He's got very little health! Ouch. Is that all he's gonna use? He's got no other weapon! That's gotta be a hit. Okay, okay, this has to be a victory for me. Yes! Oh, damn it. I thought I had him. Okay. I mean, you could go for the backstab if you like, sir. Or I could just take you down. Oh, he's just a backstab. He's just going for the backstab continuously. Okay. Oh, stop healing. Cheeky devil. He's not, he's not very good. Okay, well, that was easy. It wasn't, wasn't great. I think he's tr probably trying out a sort of magic-based build. I also think that that definitely was a player. It, wasn't, wasn't, it was fighting like a player. I think that was. Okay, I'm shaking. But this is this is the tomb where you can go through this wall in Dark Souls 1. Oh. Oh. Oh, secrets. And here's a pilgrim. And here is Gwyn's tomb. I think this was what this was. Pick up item. Chameleon. Okay, so that's what the person... That's what the other pilgrim was using. In... This is too much to take in, in the Yushka's church. This is where you fight Gwyndolin. This is also where you find the brass armor, except it's not there. It's in a chest further ahead. And that's Gwyn's too, right there. Well, well, blow me down. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. I don't know what to say. This is incredible. And straight so Oh. Oh. Is that in her head? Yes, it is. Okay, so that is Anri right there. You don't deserve this. May the flames guide thee. Keep moving. Time for tears. Why has Anri been killed? Why has her face been covered with a white blanket next to Gwyn's tomb? And why has she had the wooden uh, sign thing stuck through her head? Those are the signs that we found throughout... Throughout the swampy bit of the Road of Sacrifices. I don't know exactly what it's called. I'm sure the bonfire would tell us. Crucifixion Woods, actually, I think it's called. Which is interesting because I guess she has been... not. She hasn't been crucified in the way that I know it. But I guess in a Dark Souls-y way she might have been. With a piece of wood jabbed through her head. Now, I'm hoping not to get invaded anymore. And that... I, I don't know where to return to. We skipped through a lot of... Hang on, if I go this way, I should come out in Anor Londo. Well, it's got the same rotating bridge type structure in the middle with spiral stairs on it. But it, it doesn't look much like Anor Londo. I mean, it's definitely not constructed the same way. There's that tower which... I mean, it's snowy, for one. Although that could obviously... I mean, the climate could change. It looks like for the time being, I'm going to have to go back. Unless I can pull this. Which I can. What? Okay. So that's going to do the old spinneroo. Are we going to find that on Londo? I've been wondering if this was going to happen while playing this game. Because there's obviously been a lot of references to it. However, having said that, the references have been to Londor. 
Now, I'm pretty sure in Dark Souls 1, in the basement underneath Filing Shrine, if you want to call it a basement, which really it isn't, there are, there's new Londor ruins. And then, as a separate area, there's Anor Londo. So whether or not the R can just be interchanged or not, I don't know. Okay, I'm half expecting to bump into gargoyles. There's a bonfire over there. How, well, how do you get to that? How do... You, you, this needs to extend somehow, this little jut. Although that one is no longer. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm getting to that bonfire anytime soon. Let's raise the spiral staircase. I feel like I should have gone through the area that I keep getting invaded in a little bit more. But now that I've found this, I can't help but hide my excitement. Did we go up there? The building I'm looking at at the moment. Is that somewhere we went? Is that the... Oh. Oh. It's the stairs. This definitely is an Alondo. Why? Why do we... Oh. Oh. We've come back. And there's a bonfire. <laughs> I didn't do that very well. What the hell? Why are we here? I mean, if this isn't a nod to Dark Souls 1, then nothing is. But there's, you see, you've got the giant steps in the middle, and then the... Although, they're not that giant. Oh, okay. Alright, buddy. I've got to kill some more Silver Knights. They haven't got much poise, though. Okay, we've got another one. Two. They can be outpoised. I don't really want to die. Obviously, no one ever wants to die. Fighting two at once. Hey, hang on. I thought that one had a spear. I thought they both had spears. That was that was very tasty. Okay, run at me. They lovely. Okay. Silver Knight helm and large Titan shard. That's very that's very nice. That that is huge. This could be it. No, okay, get another chance. I need to get rid of this stuff at the bottom. There we go. All right, phew. Whoa. I was just thinking, hopefully we won't run into the Anolondo archers again, but we've already run into the Anolondo Anolondo archers again. Uh, we just we just breezed through it because I was running away from an invader who then perished at my sword. <gasps> Is the giant blacksmith going to be here, Mr. Giant Blacksmith? Oh. Oh, oh! Rest in peace, Mr. Giant Blacksmith. Is your chest here? Can I get the eagle ring or whatever it is that extends the range of bows? No. The giant's coal. Oh, my friend, with your relatively small hammer. Oh, oh! It's a trip down memory lane. So a lot of things are different, but at the same time, the general area is the same. I don't know why it's snowy. And also I'm keeping an eye out for extra new bits that might have been added. I can't imagine there's something around here. In fact, I yeah, you can. Invisible wall? No, okay. Alright, waste of time. I can't see any notes or summon signs. Was there a way up in here? There was a way up. Is it going to be the same area? We're going to go into the same hall. Well, no wonder I'm getting invaded so much. It's Anor Londo. Or at least the sort of pre the preamble of Anor Londo. Oh, I got invaded so much here in Dark Souls 1. The hall. It's full of deacons and sludge. Is it just muddy? What's going on? Could this be... <laughs> No? Okay, they, they, fixed the, they fixed the window, although everything else looks a little di in disrepair. The hall seems a little taller as well. Or maybe it's just the way that this is all set up. Oh no, that way's blocked off. You can't go into that part of Analondo. Or at least this building that is in Analondo. That was the thing about Dark Souls 1, is that this was like the only... I mean... Moonlight arrows, very nice. That's that's the arrows you could find from Gwyn Gwyndolin, I believe. They were his. 
And there's a fog gate. Where Ornstein and Smo were. So what am I supposed to what am I supposed to get from this? Should I be terrified that I'm gonna have to fight Ornstein and Smo again? The thing is, is I've already found I've already found Smo's hammer. So he's, is he gonna be without that? Should I fight him? The Dragon Slayer, or Ornstein, as he was previously called, has been found in Dark Souls 1 and 2, so it wouldn't surprise me too much if he was in this. Just gonna use some fire bombs to make quick work of this sludge. Maybe have a heal as well, seeing as I'm getting that FP back. Hang on. Well, why can't I use a heal? Is that not enough FP? Okay, alright, well I'll just kill another sludge then, I suppose. Or just one of these guys. No, okay. So why is it so sludgy? Who hasn't been maintaining Analonda? Oh, no firebombs left. Oh, black firebombs. We've got some black firebombs. Okay. I appreciate that the sludge is not the most interesting con content I could be doing. But I want some FP back. And so it's worth killing these, in my opinion, in order to do that. There we go. Okay. You know, I need to... If I can buy myself another heal, if I kill enough things, then that would, that would go down well. Okay, this is a this is a tad infuriating right here. Gonna get hit by that one, alright then. And that one. Oh, there is an item. This is all worth it. Oh, was that a grab? He tried to grab me. Oh, force. At least that doesn't do any damage. They actually rarely do that. Normally they give most of the NPCs Wrath of the Gods. Or at least the type of force which does damage. Let's see what this is. Proof of a Concord kept. That is obviously a Covenant item. The Blue Watchers or the Blue Sentinels. Something along those lines. What's with all the sludge? What's with all the slimes? How much, uh, how much health am I in the way of having? Uh, okay, more slimes. What? No! Another one of those! Okay, but he dropped down and didn't see me for whatever reason. I'm going to clear out some of these slimes. No more slimes? Well, maybe actually on the... Yeah, okay, there are more slimes on, on the ceiling. But for the time being, I'm going to concentrate on... First of all, I'm going to open this lever. Which is exactly in the same place as it was before. Which should open the door, unless it's got some new... Okay, alright, that's enough cursing. Is this going to be harder, easier than the one before? That's actually more cursing. No! Ooh. Oh no! I actually got cursed! What does this mean? What does this do? I'm going to be... I'm going to be forever... kept in a crystal statue. It doesn't look like that I have half health, which is what curse did to you in Dark Souls 1. Uh, but I've definitely lost my Ember, which is a pain, and 50,000 souls, which is also a pain, obviously. So where is the big bug thing? Is it still in here? I would quite like to take my revenge. Oh, there's a chest there. What's that? What's... Slimes. And the big bug thing. Hello again! Okay, you're quite jumpy. Stop being so jumpy. Well, very yes, please. Oh, okay. Now that I've now that I ha haven't got the, I kind of wish everything was still dead. It didn't make it this a lot easier. Where? What am I stuck against? Oh, the wall. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Can I fight you out here? Will you come out here, please? I don't mind fighting you on the steps. Yes, you will. That, that makes it much easier for me. Thank you. Ugh. So disgusting. 
Okay, that's the curse. That stuff goes up real quick, so I'm going I'm going nowhere near that. What's it got on its back? It's like skulls and bits of skeleton. Nice, okay, that shouldn't respawn. That should be dead for good. Aldrich's Ruby, that's interesting because the last one of those gave us Aldrich's Sapphire. So now we get the Ruby. A malformed ring left by Aldrich, Saint of the Deep, recovers HP from critical attacks. What was the last one? Recovers FP from critical attacks, okay. So critical attacks, I still don't, I'm not entirely sure. I believe that's parry, repost and backstabs, but we'll, we'll have to see. This isn't a mimic, I'm gonna say. It's not, no. Please stop that. Esther Shard? Oh! Oh, what a find! I thought we were I thought we'd maxed out a 10, but there we go. There's another one. So I'm not gonna fight what I preliminarily believe to be Ornstein and Smo yet, or at least one of them, because there's so much more for me to explore, including going right here. Always do that. Why do I always do that? This would be a great place to be, Ember. It has to be, uh, has to be said. Oh, what? Not, both of us missed. Where was the parry there? All right, yeah. Oh, what? What? Okay, one hit and I could die. So I need to be really careful. Yes, okay, okay, cool. No, he's not dead. What? Get out of the pause menu. Oh, another backstab. All right, that'll do. That was a long fight. Okay, I'm going to Ember because I need to, and I've got loads of them. One large Titanite shard. This door did not open in Dark Souls 1. And it looks like, I mean, it's got a slightly different texture. It looks like it might a bit further on, but not right now. All this bit to the left has gone. This, I mean, obviously this was where you fought the, uh, the brain bird guys that brought us over from the High Wall of Lothric, actually, to the Undead Settlement. Um, and then you went down an arch thing. They have a name, those, those large, those arch holdy structure things on the sides of, was that all that was there on the side of, uh, Cathedrals, but I, it's like a ret or something like that, but I, I can't remember entirely. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through the area that I ran through to get to Here I am back outside Gwyn's tomb and I have realized that we have run out of time for this part So before I venture back down into invasion land, I have to end it here So thank you very much for watching in the next part We will obviously be doing what I outlined as the plan and uh, I'll see you then. So thanks for watching. I've been OC Gibbs Good Bye!